Hey, I'm Will, and this is Be Brief, the weekly sustainable and innovative news update that's brief. I don't like ketchup, but I really don't like people who smack the bottles like they're drums. Well, Heinz is developing a recyclable, renewable, paper-based ketchup bottle. As the first sauce brand to begin implementing paper-based packaging, we'll see if the others can catch up. Goodyear, or the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company, might have to change their name to the Goodyear Tire and Rubber and Soybean Company. You see, it's replacing a portion of petroleum-based materials for some of its bus tires with soybean oil compound materials. I've been waiting for this announcement. Good job, Goodyear. MIT researchers have created a portable suitcase-sized device that can turn salt water into drinking water. To answer your question, I'm talking about an average size suitcase. Not a super tiny or super big one. But seriously, this device requires a low amount of energy, doesn't need a replaceable filter, and will be used to help remote island communities, cargo ships, and refugee camps near water. Former NFL pro Ryan Black started Sambazon, a sustainable acai bowl and smoothie business after tasting acai during a trip to Brazil. Now here's the cool part. The company uses over 80% renewable energy, diverts 90% of its waste from landfills, and is setting up shops in high traffic areas like airports and sports arenas. Toyota is investing $624 million to make electric vehicle parts in India. The move will create 3,500 jobs, with more on the way. By 2040, an estimated 53% of new car sales in India will be electric. Wow. Shell Energy is now the exclusive energy provider for the Houston Dash, the Houston Dynamo, and their field, PNC Stadium. Shell will kick things off by adding LED lighting and EV charging stations to the stadium. Oh, and I saved the best goal for last. They plan on cutting their carbon footprint in half within the next five years. While the crypto markets more and more closely resemble ski slopes, there's still some good news. Flow, the blockchain company responsible for games like NBA Top Shot and CryptoKitties, announced a $750 million fund for innovation in the Web3 space. Investors for the Flow ecosystem fund include A16Z, Greenfield One, and others without numbers in the names, I promise. Well, that's it for Be Brief. How's this for Brief? The end. <laughs>